it's like it's, it, the movie is weird. It is fucking weird. And the only thing that, like I said, that makes it creepier is the fucking boss in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, that goddamn... that This dude right here, yeah. he sexually yeah. harasses women with... With HR standing right there next to him. Yeah. Oh, damn. He's like, let me talk to this vagina I hired. <laughs> yeah. He. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Dirty, gurdy, boy. We, we put your ass to work this week. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, this one first? <laughs> yeah, you know. That's what the lady's waiting for, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, just, <laughs> just in case, just in case, you know, you start reliving the moment. You start getting flashbacks. You start uh, living at Vietnam. Getting the vapors. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or, you know, you got to go take care of yourself because the movie just makes you so hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> Moist, if you will. <laughs> well, come on. You got a treat last week with rings. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. 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 Gertz Gert put in some time this week because my man Corey Goodwin just conveniently could not go see Fifty Shades Darker. I mean, work, man, work. Yeah, work. Yeah, it was <laughs> funny how he had photoshopped the schedule so he could whip it right out. And we asked him about it. You ain't got to work. Oh, it's right here. There's you, no winning. Yeah. <laughs> Either I don't show it to him and I'll, I'll get that or I'll show it to him. You made this shit up. Yeah. <laughs> you doubt the truth of Photoshop? <laughs> yeah, man, you were awful quick to pull that out. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, you know. Hey, I man, get it. I saw rings on my own free will. No, yeah, that is true. You, <laughs> Come on now. You have seen some shit. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I, you know, I understood. That's he's like, I, I can't go back in there. <laughs> I just can't. But for me, I live for moments like this. I love it. I, I live to go off. I'm the Incredible Hulk with this shit. I love being angry. <laughs> Bounce around some stuff like this. And we are talking about Fifty Shades darker mm -hmm. and if you remember me with 50 shades of gray i was you know me man i'm all about women doing their thing i'm all about the women's movement i'm all about y'all getting together right now and making things happen but this movie is making y'all take about 50 steps back this is some this at least i'm talking about 50 shades of gray that was the worst most harmful woman's fantasy <laughs> that i've ever seen as long as a dude is rich and good looking he can just he can, he can just ride your ass out. Treat you like property. But isn't that just life? It, you know what? I try. <laughs> like, damn, make it like that Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he knows it's true. Yeah, yeah. Girl, you know it. Uh, yeah, shit. <laughs> yeah. She like a motherfucking dog me out from back nuggets. <laughs> shit. Get me a 20 piece, you get this ass ready. <laughs> damn, did you get sauces at least? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he charged you for the ketchup. Yeah. She like, that's what the man is for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it, somehow these movies make me think like you know for all the times I try to defend y'all y'all make me second guess this shit when you actually buy into stuff like this and somebody actually had the nerve to tell me they said well you know Corey you're right you're right this movie is not the best thing for females out there but you know give it some time as you know this is a trilogy I mean it's a deeper story that's there so you just just wait for the second one and maybe the third where people start to change yeah. and get deeper. You know, y'all talking that shit. I, I can change them. You know, so what, I'm, what I'm hearing is this is the Empire Strikes Back of yep. these movies. Yep, it's the yes. Empire Strikes Back of sex dungeon movies. Yeah, exactly. Okay, dope, dope. Yeah. At the end of the movie, they, they cut Christian Grey's dick off and everything. <laughs> I, I heard all about the third book right before coming over here. And yes, I think you're right. <laughs> no. Nice. Are there Ewoks in it? <laughs> yeah. It's between us. Legs, <laughs> furry shit down. <laughs> oh, TV! <laughs> but, but this right here, what is different? What's changing? Well, the last time we saw Anastasia Still played by Dakota Johnson and the mysterious and freaky ass Christian Grey played by Jamie D <laughs> Jamie Dornan, they were, you know, they went in and they had an agreement that they could at least Grey could do all these crazy kinky sex games with Anastasia because, well, her life is kind of plain Jane anyway, so this is something that's adding some spice. But also, 
She, you know, just like a chick, she thought, well, maybe, you know, this guy's damaged. Maybe, maybe, since I'm so special, maybe I will be the one to change him. But in this one, <laughs> <laughs> every female, I can change him. You just I, don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for a billion dollars, I can change him. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you goddamn right. You can dog me out. Shit. <laughs> Hell, you can get fucked by him too for a billion dollars. I'm like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I can't really talk about women. I submit that ass too. But the thing is, the thing is with this, now we have mysterious figures that are popping up, who are coming in and telling him like, "Bitch, you ain't the only one who came in and played this game. You ain't the only one that tried to make him a better man, a changed man." They're saying, and you ain't gonna be the last. And on top of that, if you thought Christian Gray. Was creepy. Well, there's another one out there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pervert billionaires yeah. are multiplying. <laughs> we got the, the the handsome Jim Carrey up here trying to <laughs> sitting up here trying to make some moves too. Oh, if you thought that the world of Christian Grey was dark, well, it gets darker with all these other people here. Now, here's the thing with the film. I mean, I'm telling you that uh, from the get go, well, I'm sitting up here. I walk. I, I, Y'all know me. I walk in with an open mind with this kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, I don't have. I really, I'm not walking in thinking, "Oh man, we're gonna rip this movie apart and get a lot of views." Or, man, you know what? This is this is some bullshit because this is this is a woman's novel and it's making suckers out of women. You know, I'm not doing that. I'm coming in with a clear mind, and it took about thirty seconds for me to say same old bullshit. The first fifteen minutes of this movie is creepy as hell. I mean, it's just one creepy dude after another. I mean, they made Christian Grey actually seem like a cool guy. Yeah. Oh, so that's what they did. Yeah, man. By comparison, he's not that bad. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what they do. It's but true. it starts out with him because he's in bed and he's oh, oh, yeah. oh, you think he's masturbating. And it's not like he's jacking off to his own sexual abuse nightmares. Or, or at least his child abuse nightmares, and that's and while he's not really is it doesn't help the imagery that they putting in sure. there. <laughs> and then when uh, the the scene that follows after that, if y'all remember, uh, and I don't have any pictures of him, but if y'all remember poor old Jose, Jose, yeah, Ray Zone, yeah, Jose, friend, friend zone, Jose in the movie. Y'all remember Jose? Jose was the dude that got kind of friend zone quick. Yeah. And the other thing, y'all never seen it happen that fast yeah. in a movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, ever. hey, my name is Nah. You good? Yeah. yeah. And the minute he even tried something, Christian Gray showed up and beat his ass in the first movie. Oh yeah. Oh, he should have did. Let me see if I can. He came out of nowhere like yeah. Batman. Like the one time he was, he he used his billionaire yeah. powers to be Batman mm -hmm. was just to beat up the the, the friend zone. Guy. The friend zone guy. It was like it was like Jose tried to open his feelings. Like Anastasia, I want to let you know I feel and Gray came down from the from a gargoyle yeah. off the roof and just yeah. Like, yeah. No way, Jose. <laughs> you saw his legs shaking and shit. <laughs> Jose, let me see if I can find yeah. see if I can find a, a picture of Jose. Fifty Shades right here. Y'all y'all remember Jose? It's like Batman with sex toys. Yeah. So Batman. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Had a vibrator with hook gun and shit. <laughs> yeah, there he is right there. Poor old Jose. Like you said, I love that. No way, Jose, man. And y'all looking at Jose, y'all think man Jose but he was he was cool Jose was nice that shouldn't have happened to Jose nah Jose creepy as fuck too <laughs> y'all looking at that innocent face right there it turns out that Jose still obsessed over this chick I know yeah <laughs> he had a whole art exhibit uh, of her pictures meanwhile this only about eight feet tall each one of them uh, every yeah. one of them and only and for some reason, Anastasia is that chick that everybody's losing their shit over mm -hmm. because the picture at the art, the pictures that he has at the art show, like everybody's putting up on the wall, like, "Oh, Jose, these are wonderful." And it's like the fucking iPhone photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like Facebook profile yeah, pics. Nobody would buy those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, there is one dude. Who yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the funny thing about it too, because uh, because all the pictures of her like making just stupid faces with a sweater, like, "Oh, look at me!" Oh, you know, my picture. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and then Anastasia walks in and she's like, the fuck, Jose? Yeah. That was like the one scene in the movie where she seemed like a real human. Like, yeah. this is fucking weird, dude. Yeah. What are you doing? She actually got a laugh out of me. She came and she said, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and she said, Jose, what the fuck? And Jose is just like, oh, I, I, I didn't want to tell you because you wouldn't have let me do it. She's like, you no, goddamn. I would have sued your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you goddamn right, you creepy fuck. I wouldn't have let you do this. <laughs> 
the fuck is wrong with you? you know what I'm <laughs> and the only thing that made it creepy is that, like a woman came up, just like 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 a bad like a bad TV show. Mm-hmm. Like they're talking, a woman comes up and it's like, oh Jose, somebody has bought all your pieces. I'm rich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> and in the background. Gray back there just staring. Yeah, he comes out the shadow. Yeah, he comes out the shadow. Yeah, of course it was me. Yeah, I, I didn't want anybody else gawking at you. Maybe Jose Wait. knew that though, and it was like a setup. He's like, she going he gonna body. No, dumb Jose, ass Jose ain't that smart. He's he's too he's too obsessed with her too. Oh, okay, and you can almost see him deflate, seeing that Christian Gray was the one who bought him. Like, oh, it's like, and it's almost like you stupid motherfucker. Who do you think bought him? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it was either gonna be Christian Gray, or your mama, <laughs> <laughs> and your mama don't give a fuck about this bitch. So you know, <laughs> in like, fact. Chris- Christian Gray's all like, I don't want strangers gawking at you. He's like, so he's gonna pay everybody on the street who yeah. turns their head to go like, no, yeah. wait. And that's him. You can see the pictures back there. Yeah. And mm-hmm. even that's him. He's like, the fuck you let him take pictures of you for? <laughs> it's like it's, it, the movie is weird. It is fucking weird. And the only thing that, like I said, that makes it creepier is the fucking boss in here. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. That, that goddamn. That this dude right here. Yeah. He took the fucking cake. The boss right here, like. Uh, he's her boss. Yeah. He's yes, her, yeah. He sexually harasses women with with HR standing right there next to yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, damn. He's like, let me talk to this vagina I hired. <laughs> yeah. He... <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Again. Anastasia, for, she got the world wrapped around her ass. This old plain, right? this old plain ass girl because... The, the office got hot girls in there, but whenever Anastasia walks off, he's looking at it just like that, looking at her ass. Yeah, and, they're doing this. Yeah. She mm-hmm. walks away with the other women looking at him like, what are you doing? He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a secretary that looks at him, and she's even like, you're going to get fired over this shit. He's looking at her like, the fuck you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, when you get up, I'm going to look at your ass too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this mother, it's... It goes from zero, zero to 60 with this creepy shit because they start out as kind of normal people and it takes like a minute for them to just turn around. Mm-hmm. We, maybe you think a dude is okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> like, the fuck is going on with this movie, man? I will give the movie credit on some front with some things, man. Okay. Is that I, I am glad, and I'd like to see how you guys feel about it, because I, I am glad that this movie is bringing eroticism to the mainstream. I'm glad to see, you know, these movies, these romance films with some real sex put into it. And I'm talking about, you know, I'm, and I'm talking about like, I ain't talking about like just eroticism. I'm talking about just straight up fucking. Yep. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. This movie, yeah, I'm telling you, I, if there's one thing I can say about this, it's going to bring your woman into the freak zone. <laughs> put her in straight up freak mode. Y'all going to do some shit that you're going to, you gonna fuck her nostrils and clear her sinuses after this shit. I mean, this is she gonna want to do some. She she gonna want to she gonna want to do some crazy shit, and that's the benefit. It's gonna be so bad you ain't gonna even be you can't you can't look at your children in the eye. <laughs> you know? Hey babe, when we get home, you want to do some of that? Yeah, I need you to get a billion dollars. For yeah, <laughs> yeah, for a billion dollars, when you get the fuck out this car. <laughs> It is rough. It is crazy. But I tell you what, I think it's more honest. This movie saying, look, everybody got some freak in them. Y'all need to go ahead and bring it out. And it, boy, it was so crazy. They had, we had women going to the bathroom to masturbate. They got up about three times. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that, like I was mentioning, that woman sitting behind me, she talked loudly through the whole movie, except for those three times she got up to go to yeah. the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> Why are you jarring me in your chair? I can't help it. <laughs> you know, the only yeah. word you heard was sploosh. <laughs> well, somebody said they had to have, they need to have D-Box with dildos in it. <laughs> Wow. Like the D needs to be yeah, a real, real dope. <laughs> yeah. And just and just shake the fuck out the women while you're watching. <laughs> women coming back off talking about I gotta go to the bathroom. They come back all sweaty and shit. What'd you do? I pissed. No, you didn't. Nah. Quit fucking lying. I will give the movie. It is it is central in the right places, it is sexual in the right places, and I and I admire that about it. I don't know how you know you were sitting there laughing the whole time, but I could just feel the fury coming off of you watching. Girl, did oh, you really? see the first one? No, I never saw the first one. I wouldn't expect so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, why? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I wasn't so much mad at this, but man, it, it did get, honestly, it got kind of annoying because I thought the sex scenes in this, they get really repetitive. Like, mm-hmm. I kept expecting them to escalate because mm-hmm. they keep saying that he's into some really dark shit. And he's not. <laughs> he's, he's really not. He man. talks about being in the dark shit. Yeah, he does. He talks a big game, and then like when they actually do it, it's like, oh, it's like people fucking. That's like that's about, that's about it. Yeah. I mean, you might be better off just waiting for the porn parody of this. Yeah. You mean you know you you have a point because 
outside of the sex, <clears throat> ain't shit. No. There's not shit outside of the sex here. And what little they do try at romance, oh, they fail horribly. Mm-hmm. Christian Gray is too fucking crazy to be saying some of these romantic <clears throat> cheesy ass lines. Mm-hmm. He is too, every time he tries to, to deliver a, a piece of romantic dialogue, he looks like a serial killer. I don't know whether to worship at your feet or spank you. That's translation. If you ever leave me, I will fucking kill you. That is awful. <laughs> oh, that is bad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> man, you don't know. Oh. Do you realize that you just heard like a millisecond of dialogue right there? Oh, yeah. Now, imagine a two-hour movie. That's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this movie is two hours. Two hours, Yeah. Man. And this is, like, it really is a movie that's padded out to center around sex scenes in this. There, there, there is no movie. Mm-hmm. What they have here is, these people might as well be talking Spanish in this movie because this is a telenovela. <coughs> in it fact, is. you know what? Mm. This is an insult to telenovelas because telenovelas will actually, as silly as they might be. They will have emotion. They, oh, they got Ooh. passion. They got emotion. They have set up. They have follow through. And some of them even have a conclusion. Mm. They, have, they have bits and pieces of a, of a soap opera, a telenovela, to the point where some of it feels like it's written by a kid. Mm-hmm. They actually have a, <laughs> they have a part, <laughs> that shit right there, <laughs> they actually have a part in here where Christian Gray is riding the helicopter, he's going out there with his associate, and, they, and something happens on the news that's saying, Christian Gray and associate, in tragic helicopter crash, lost in the mountains in the woods, and that crisis lasts for three minutes. Yeah, that, man. That, that's one of the biggest problems with this movie, mm-hmm. is that there's no... Uh, conflict, really? Okay. There's no conflict other than what they make up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have things like that, these events where it's like, okay, this is going to be something. And then the next scene, it's handled or you go like, oh, no, that was no big deal. It, yeah. Nothing. So was this, that, do you feel like that was just added for the movie man, or let was me, that actually in the book? I don't, it might be in the book, but the thing is, I don't it's, know. It's, it's in the book. Is it any more? I, no, no, because I, I talked to somebody <laughs> extensively. Because I, I talked to somebody who admitted to reading all three books. I was asking her about it. I say, like, okay, this happens. Does that lead to something? She's like, no. Like, he said, admit it. Man, admit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up. I really. <laughs> man, let me tell you what happens with that crisis there. Mm-hmm. It's three minutes that, if that much. Yeah. Like on the news, Everybody in the world is talking about billionaire Christian Gray disappeared. And then somebody, oh my God, wait, wait a minute, report's just in. Christian Gray is found. And then there's a knock at the door. And he's, yeah. hey, everybody, I'm okay. Oh, man, it was it was almost like while they were watching the news, he walked in behind him and like, hey, what y'all watching? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that me? Oh, shit, I really should call somebody. <laughs> you know? But he's like, why y'all bugging? I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that shit was handled like 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 a kid's play or something. Yes. <laughs> it, was, it really was. A high school play. Yeah, high, no, yeah. an oh. elementary school play. Christian Gray is dead. Hey, everybody, I'm still here. <laughs> you know, was, like, you got it. This is writing to you? Do you remember what I told you before the movie started? The silver lining in this? I, the trailer showed a helicopter crash. Yeah, I, Maybe I, that'll be something. I know. I, and I, I thought about that watching it. Yeah. I was thinking about you over there. Yeah. And I told him, like, to hold on to that crash. Yeah. <laughs> Show the crash. <laughs> no, they don't. No. That crash that you saw in the trailer, you didn't see that shit in there. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no. Like, you no, no, no. You saw, you, no, but you never saw a crash. You saw a helicopter smoking. Mm-hmm. And then you cut away. That's all you saw. I was furious. They, <laughs> the crash, you dream that crash in your mind. Oh, yeah. yeah. They said, if that plane ain't, if that helicopter ain't fucking somebody, we ain't giving it no time. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know? And here's, and, and, and that's what, you know, they just set up these, these little bits of drama to feel, to feel like a movie. They they are, you know, they're trying to do this thing where they are they are padding out what would essentially have been just a soft core porn show on on, on Cinemax, on Cinemax or HBO 11. to a film because uh, they try to make conflict happen instantly. They got that that boss that we were telling you about. Oh yeah, <laughs> that shit's taken care of like that. <laughs> Man, that shit is taken care of like that. They. They, they, what happens, he's just set up to just have some kind of conflict so they can show you how possessive and how passionate Christian Gray is about Anastasia. Mm-hmm. Like he, and he's always doing creepy shit, too. They set it up instantly. Like He's always inviting Anastasia to go out on these social events, but somehow when they get there, they're always early and nobody else is there. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's, there's one <laughs> point. Like a murder. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's at a bar, but she's like, hey, where's everybody? Oh, we don't need them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Okay. Slim. I, I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, everybody. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll be here in a minute. They'll be here. But the thing is, is that. <laughs> Just drink your drink. He's sitting up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they, they always serve him smoking. Yeah, like that. yeah. <laughs> now, no, you know the, he roofied that shit. Use the syringe to stir it around. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they have they have them drinking at a bar so Christian Grey can just come in. Like Batman. Like Batman, <laughs> walk in. It's not handled like real people. He comes in immediately. He just starts looking at you. He, he, he's like, hey, what's up? Yeah. I'm the boyfriend. This is my bitch. <laughs> let's, let's go. Yeah. And it's like, that's a fresh drink. I <laughs> just bought her right yeah. there. Yeah. She at least finished her beer. Damn. Yeah. And the guy is creepy, but at least he tries to be cordial. He's like, hey, Christian, how you doing? My name is Creepy Fuck. How are you? And, yeah. and, and Christian's like, hi, my girl. Yeah. And it's like, all right, fuck, man. And then he Jesus. goes off to his office crying and shit. Yep. Let me ask you this, though, because y'all haven't talked about this at all. And it was one of the main cruxes of the, uh, the trailer. That situation with the his past past. Well, girls? that's what I'm gonna tell you because okay. with that they got the. So y'all remember the trailer where you had that fucking Batman chick, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know that that does that Michael Myers shit. She comes <laughs> in and yeah, <laughs> she comes in and she's she's like a she's an ex subord uh, what they call a submissive, and he drove her ass to be insane. Yeah, and with her they really are trying to introduce some uh, some horror element with her, and there's a there is the potential for suspense there. He talks about you all the time. He cares about you. <laughs> you bitch, you know, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, just shut up. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I will tell you what, though. Everybody came to attention when she did that. Because yeah. they had that sound cranked up. Because people sit up there like, man, fuck the Bam, oh, shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm paying attention. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> you know, that they could have had some moments for suspense there. Because there is there is some intrigue, like what the fuck did he do to this chick to drive her crazy? But they do so little with her that she is a non character. <laughs> Let me see if I can find something here because there is one person oh, in the movie. There, there she is. There, there she is. And Gertz oh, had me laughing. Cat listen, yeah. <laughs> listen, y'all. I don't want. I don't listen. I do not want to come in and looking like I'm trying to body shame somebody or age shame somebody. I'm not. Kim Basinger is in the movie. She is Christian Grey's. Well, she's the one that turned him into the monster that he is. Mm -hmm. When he was younger, she was the older woman, the friend of his, uh, of his adopted mom, mother yeah. that came in and just uh, turned, <laughs> she him turned his ass up. <laughs> but I think Kim Basinger is 63. She's beautiful. She's sexy. She is gorgeous. But to be somebody who's supposed to be so full of anger in this film and so hate-filled, it would help if she could move her face. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, it, you, you got a combination of her never being that great of an actress and Botox. Mm -hmm. And, man, Ooh. yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> you upset me, Mr. Gray. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> Look at my face. Yeah. yeah. That's how every scene with her plays out. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Man, you can see them expressions trying to fight their way yeah. out. And they just came through. <laughs> They're just trying to fight through her face. <laughs> <Let's out! laughs> Yeah, see, she's sitting up there like yelling at them. You think you're the only one that did this? The only one that tried to save him? And it's like, fuck, emote. All oh, that goddamn Botox is it just it pretty much Medusa Joe has just turned yeah. you into stone. You cracked me up because then see she gets slapped and I heard you just say, Oh, you're lucky I couldn't feel that. <laughs> Y'all did a ring when y'all just talking through yeah, that. We were. Yeah, no, we man. were. The audience was talking. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, this is, I think, the fourth press screening I've been to, and no pun intended, this was the least amount of fucks <laughs> given yeah, it any it, of these. It really was, man. You couldn't say shit because women in there were talking their ass off, and it was good. That, yeah. The movie's for them. I didn't care at all. And I said, if y'all gonna talk, me and Gert's gonna sit up and have a good time. Goddamn okay. right. <laughs> yeah, you know, the. I, I, I'm curious to hear, to hear what your... Uh, what your rating is for this, I man? Because, because uh, I, you know, you, you, you're not going off on it as hard as I thought you might. Yeah. So, you know, what do you, what do you, what do you think about it, man? Leading I mean, up to your rating. I mean, honestly, like, you know, for me, it's a movie I would never watch again. Uh, and I, when I look at the audience it's made for, I think it actually does deliver what they came to see it for. I'll give it a low rental. All right. What mm -hmm. about you, Gertz? Um, I think if you're there for the sex. Watch porn. <laughs> you yeah. can get it for free, and yeah. it's probably way kinkier than this is. When you and I were both were like, "Oh my god, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> this turns into like some Legion of Doom type shit. This could be that's, amazing." Oh, that's sexy billionaire. Yeah, I turned to him and I said, "Man, yeah. if that crazy chick." Mm -hmm. 
that the the creepy dude in the bushes, yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, and and, and uh, uh, Kim Basinger, oh, okay. yeah, and Jose, oh, and Jose, they, yeah, because no, can... I love how they kept focusing back there. Because every time yeah. I thought about think about poor Jose, it's like the camera went like, oh no, we we know. Look at him over there crying. Yeah. This shit plays out like a Batman movie. They have villains. <laughs> yeah, they got so it's villains. Gotham. In, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got villains in the making. Yeah, yeah. they come out being like a, a sex suicide squad. Or, yeah, or, 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 <laughs> yeah. You see uh, Jose trying to leave, uh, yeah. and the dude from the bushes going like, yeah. hey man, come here. Mm-hmm. Our, our legion of doom of sex or something <laughs> mm-hmm. I will fucking give this movie a full price yeah because okay. they pull, they fully lost their mind yeah but until that next movie comes out <laughs> this is some old bullshit <laughs> oh hell yeah the biggest thing for me man is that they tried what you know what what they try to actually uh they try to actually you know excuse themselves out of some really really insulting things right here they try to sit up here and do this whole thing where Anastasia is, is treated like an object to the whole movie, and they think that they can they can resolve that by just having her have one line of dialogue saying, "You think you can control me? You can't. Take your clothes off, bitch. Okay." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. horny hypocrite. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. she is for all you women who think that one line of dialogue makes her an independent woman. It does not. She's a fucking object in this movie mm-hmm. through the whole thing. She has no control. She's almost got Stockholm syndrome in a way. This is a horrible, 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 horrible fucking film. And you, and yeah, I, but did you like it? Yeah, no, <laughs> and I loved it. You know, I went home and jacked off on it. <laughs> but, but this, as far as the rest of this movie, this is a fuck you, and it's a it's a fuck you I had a lot of fun with. Okay. But I cannot excuse the terrible filmmaking in here in. The insulting nature of it. So, so this, this is the second fuck you you've given this year. Yeah, man. What was the other one? Rings. Rings. Well, man, you're running out of them. I know, Prince. I'm not gonna have no fucks to give. Yeah. Or will I? But say, which, so which is worse, this or rings? This. Oh, whoa. This, this man. Is worse than rings. Uh, I don't know. No, you don't like, like rings. Fuck, we don't hear your opinion. <laughs> no, you. <know. laughs> Well, I'm looking at the fucking in this and it's hot and rings just straight out just fuck me. So you know, I don't I don't know, man. No, rings is a lot worse. Man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Rings this is a sequel that has nothing to do with anything. This is at least a sequel that's staying true to his creepy ass nature. So in fact there's a point where he's doing gymnastics and shit. Yeah. You know, I'm serious. I'm serious. Some shit that would be in a comedy where he's balancing himself on a fucking yep. horse, a the yep. hobby horse. He really is he's yep. Bruce Wayne without the bat, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know so, remember that scene in the first Batman with Michael Keaton is sleeping upside down for some reason? <laughs> It's pretty much that. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so if y'all ever had fantasies about Bruce Wayne fucking without Batman in the picture, then this is your movie right here. There's <laughs> just too many Batman references yeah. going on with this thing. <laughs> it really is. Even Kim Basinger in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Like, <laughs> Vicky Bale. What you doing here, Vicky? <laughs> Vicky Bale. <laughs> well, this would be a good time to talk about Batman then, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Segway. Yes. Oh, Segway. A borderline porn to a kid's movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> they may well get 50 shades of Lego movies. <laughs> yeah. And the way those hey, pieces lock yeah. together. Yeah. It couldn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could hurt, but. <laughs> he breaks up apart and puts it back together again. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I'm dead too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gamefly brings to your house, to you, over 8,000 new releases and classics that are available to rent, or you can buy them for almost every system out there, current and some old systems. Like I said, man, I've been trying to put my GameCube back to work for years. Gamefly has given me an excuse to do that. And you can even try 30 days for free by typing in gameflyoffer.com forward slash double toasted. And when you do that, you'll get 30 days for free of games and movies. Get all those things, all of them at once. Just stay in the house, don't go nowhere because they're all gonna get brought right to your mailbox. You can also bring the element of surprise every month to your home in the form of a Loot Crate mystery box. In that box, I can't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee you it is the best in geek and gaming gear. Some people say it's like having Comic-Con brought right to your home. You don't have to leave the house for nothing. You're getting all kind of stuff. And everybody likes a little surprise every month. Just a little bit. And here's another surprise for you. You know, if you go to our link, trylootcrate.com forward slash double toasted, and you type in bridge. 10, that's the word bridge and the number 10, you can get 10% off, a 10% discount on your first crate 
How's that for a surprise right there? Loot Crate, bring the mystery and the surprise to your mailbox once a month with Loot Crate. Hey everyone, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and go over to our home, doubletoasted.com for more videos and live streams. And remember, stay toasty.